elect is having a very busy night before he's sworn in tomorrow. News Center 5's Mary Sladden is live on Beacon Hill tonight. Mary? Yeah, tomorrow morning, uh, Charlie Baker will be sworn in as Massachusetts 72nd governor. But tonight, he spent some time reflecting and praying. We are praying for wisdom. We're praying for his direction. Governor elect Charlie Baker embraced at an interfaith service tonight in Boston. Asked to share his own hopes and prayers, he quoted Philippians. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Just thank you. God bless you. And we will do everything we can to make you proud. Earlier in the day, Governor Patrick and his wife met privately with Baker and his wife Lauren in the newly decorated corner office. It was the traditional exchange of the governor's gavel, pewter keys, and the two volume Massachusetts general laws dating back to 1860. Governor Patrick making his traditional exit today so as to give his successor the spotlight tomorrow. This is just time. Uh, it's time for my family. It's time for, it's time for me. Um, and, uh, and I certainly do wish the incoming governor and administration well. Patrick has actually said many of his goodbyes in private. With a 19 gun salute, he took that final lone walk through the state house front doors, telling reporters it's been a great run, but I'm ready to have my life back. Charlie Baker finished his day with a private dinner for his biggest donors. Governor Patrick leaves tomorrow for a warm weather vacation, but only after Charlie Baker takes the oath of office at the state house tonight. I'm Mary Salatna, WCDB News Center 5.